This is Milo. Milo has no formal training and she's really good at demonstrating how to work with a dog that doesn't know how to sit yet. So first we get the dog to sit by saying sit and motioning towards their forehead. That usually makes them look up at you and their bottom will go down while their head goes up. And then reward them every time in the beginning. Just like Milo, if your dog is jumping, don't give them the treat. Make sure all their feet are on the ground and they're sitting correctly. If you need to help your dog sit, you can push gently on their chest. Chihuahuas have small chests, so it might look like I'm grabbing her neck. I'm not, I'm grabbing her little chest. We're gonna make her stand and we can touch her bottom and say sit. And that way she knows like, oh, my bottom needs to go on the ground. So here I am grabbing her chest. Now Violet is going to show us when we should sit. I believe a dog should sit when you're putting on the leash, showing that they're ready instead of crazy and excited. They should leave the house calmly. In order for your dog never to bolt out of the open door, Teach them to sit at the doorway. You should be able to go in and out, unloading the car, taking the laundry out, taking the trash out, and the dog should just wait for you at the front door. Never have to worry about an open door. We should be able to open the back door. Violet is gonna show how a dog will bolt in and charge. But if the dog has muddy feet and we want to wash their feet first, or if we really don't want them in the house, the dog should be able to wait at the door until we're ready for them to come in. Violet's going to show again how she should stay outside even if we come in. And when we're ready, then we'll give her the command. She'll sit. And then we'll say, okay, Violet, you can come in she'll sit again. Another thing dogs like to do is jump on the couch all the time whenever they want. My dogs are trained to sit at our feet and then they get their love. If I want them on the couch I'll give them the command up and then when I want them down they'll get off. Violet is going to show that while we're walking when I stop she needs to sit all of these things come after the dog learns to sit on command. Violet is going to show how to get on her bed. It can be anything from a towel, a blanket, or an actual dog bed. They should lay down and be able to stay there. When she knows the command, you can add distance and you can also add time length. Service dogs need to be able to stay in place long lengths of time. Owners like to go see movies, go out to dinner, go to shows. 
Uh, so service dogs need to be able to be still. Here we go without a leash now. Once your dog masters on your bed with a leash, you can try without a leash. So Violet is being a puppy and being playful. All we're gonna do is give the hand signal to stay, and then we'll give her a treat. And here we go again. Violet, sit. She's being silly. This is a good demonstration of working with a dog that doesn't know the command completely yet. So we don't get mad, we just wait until they do what we want and then we give them the stay command, which is an open hand in front of their face. And if the dog is watching you, you don't need to say anything, you can just do the hand signal. And that way there's not a lot of noise, a lot of barking and a lot of yelling. To get the dog to lay down, motion with your treat in your hand so the dog's head is following the treat to the floor and the dog should collapse and then you say yes and give the treat. So Violet also knows the command up and then down. We call those little puppy push-ups. Now that she's on her bed staying, we're going to add some distractions. We can throw toys at her, don't hit her with the toys. But she should be able to stay on her bed while things are loud and distracting. This is very good when we go out in public and we add food and we add kids running and loud sounds. She should be able to listen to me and not worry about what's going on. We're going to add food now. These are really good treats. They smell delicious to the dog, so she really wants one. She's sneaking over to me, and we'll say, Violet, leave it. Put her back in her place, tell her to stay, and then ask her to walk around everything. She shouldn't get anything in her mouth. Nana is going to demonstrate everything in public now. We're out at a public park. There are kids and trees other dogs and people and kids on bikes. So we want to master obedience in the house first. We want to add distractions in the house first. And once they've got that down, we can take them into public. It takes a lot of time. It takes a good week to do each step and give them a lot of time and they can do it. So Nana stays no matter where I go. I wouldn't jump over a dog if I wasn't confident that they were going to stay. I wouldn't want my dog to get hurt, and I wouldn't want to fall and get hurt either. So the dog really needs to master stay. Nana is showing how she sits when I call her. And she gets a kiss because I just love her. Nana will show how I can throw distractions at her in public. Things are making sounds. I'll call her to me. She'll heel to my left side where she belongs. She needs a little encouragement, so I'll pat my thigh and she'll sit. Always love your dog. The more you love them, the more they'll work with you. So we give her a down stay and we'll bring in the blanket. She'll get on her bed. And we're going to use food now to add food distractions. So right there I did the hand motion for stay. You don't have to say anything, just use your hand. In public when there's a lot of noise, it's really good the dog watch for your hand signals. So she's doing really good leaving her, co her cookies. And right here I'm going to have to tell her to leave it, Nana, because she wants that cookie really bad. Leave it. And she does it. Leave it is a very good command. There's usually things on the ground we don't want them to eat, so we tell them leave it, and they should, they should not put it in their mouth. 
I believe our big dogs need to be very well socialized. I like Nana to lay down when people are petting her because she is so big. It makes her more friendly looking to other, other kids. So here we go, we found some orange peels and slices on the ground that someone dropped. So we're going to demonstrate a leave it. I'll tell her leave it and I keep moving. So even though she wants to sniff it, I'm keeping moving. And it's really good to bring your dog around so many distractions. So there's bikes, kids, people, and everything going all at once and Nana just stays laying down. 